Hi friends, it's me, Coach G. How are you doing? I'm coming at you with a new video on how to make bean bags. Yeah, that's gonna be one of the activities we're gonna be doing this week. Playing with bean bags, okay? We're gonna play a variety of different games with them. But first, I'm gonna show you how you can make bean bags at home with materials that you should already have at home, okay? Easy, simple, and fun. A great exercise to do with your family, friends, or by yourself making bean bags. Now, the first thing you're gonna need is to make sure you get together all your supplies, okay? So I have all my supplies right here. I have a bag of beans. I have a bag of rice, cause you could use rice or dry beans, dry pinto beans, any brand, it doesn't matter, okay? White rice and dry pinto beans. I have my tape. I have some color tape that I bought in bulk at Amazon because I was able to get a really good deal, but you can buy your duct tape anywhere. This is colored duct tape. You can get it anywhere, okay? Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, Walmart, you can get it anywhere. See, just regular colored duct tape, all right? And you're gonna be using either sandwich bags. The sandwich bags make the larger bean bags, and it'll come out looking like this. This is one I already made. It'll come out looking like that with the larger sandwich bag. Or you can use the snack size snack bags. And it'll come out a little bit smaller. So that way you can have two different sizes. And it'll come out looking like this. My mom made this one. And it'll come out looking like that. Just a little bit smaller. Okay? Just a little bit smaller. All right. You're also going to need some scissors. I have three pairs of scissors one kid scissor and two adults because I have two volunteers helping me. So I have one for me, one for my mom, and one for Addison. And then you're gonna need a measuring cup. You can use a half a cup or a full cup, okay? For measuring out your beans or rice for your bean bags. And we're gonna be making bean bags just like the kind we use at school, the kind we play with in the gym. These right here, the little cloth ones. So we're not gonna be making cloth ones. We're gonna be using duct tape. So we're gonna be using plastic ones, okay? We're gonna make plastic ones. But it's just like these, just like the ones we use at school. The regular bean bags that we use at school for tossing and playing cornhole and a variety of different games, all right? Are you guys ready to get started? I am so excited to see what you're gonna do. Make sure you listen to the instructions, follow along, stay patient, and it's gonna come out great, okay? All right. Let's check out what we're gonna do. I got my volunteers here. So they are gonna pick the color tape that they would like to use. All right, Grand Grand, what color tape would you like to use? Green. There's green. Grand Grand. Grand Grand wants green. All right, so we're gonna hand Grand Grand the green tape. Here you go, Grand Grand. Addison, what type of tape would you like to use? Pink. Pink. So there's Addie, we're gonna get, Addie has the pink. All right, now what we're gonna do is I'm giving the scissors. So here's Grand Grand a pair of scissors. Here's me a pair of scissors and here's Addison a pair of scissors. Now one way you can go ahead and do this is to pre-cut your tape, okay? Pre-cut your tape. But the way we know what size tape we need or how much tape we need is by the size of our bean bag that we're going to be making. So Grand Grand, are you going to make a snack size bean bag or a sandwich size bean bag? A uh, sandwich. Okay, Grand Grand's gonna make a sandwich size, so she's gonna make a larger one. Addison, what size would you like to make? A snack size or a sandwich size? Sandwich. A sandwich? All right. And there's Addie. She is gonna be making a sandwich size. All right. And I am going to, and there's Grand Grand. She's making hers. She's starting. And I am going to make a snack size, a small one. So I'm gonna make a small one. All right. So now, a couple ways you could do your bean bag is you can pre-cut your tape. So I'm gonna pre-cut Addie's tape. She's making a sandwich size bag, so she's gonna need a couple of larger slices. So I'm gonna cut her out some little pre-cut slices so it'll be easier for her to wrap her sandwich bag. And I'm gonna just hang them on the end of her table like this so she can get to them. So that's an easy way that you can do it to help you stay prepared and organized. You can pre-cut your slices of tape, pre-cut your pieces of duct tape, 
and hang them off the table. And that way you could get to them faster and easier. And you don't have to worry about taking too much tape off and having a whole bunch of tape that you won't use or messing up your bean bag by having too much tape that you're not, you're not sure what to do with, okay? So I'm gonna cut Addie a couple pieces. I'm gonna cut her one more piece to help her out and help her get started. And Grand Grand is actually doing the same thing over here. She's pre-cutting her pieces too. There's Grand Grand pre-cutting her pieces. So we're gonna watch them as they use their pre-cut pieces. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do mine by just wrapping it. Okay. Now, don't do like I just did. I just got my tape stuck. So you don't wanna do that. And then accidentally got ripped. So luckily it's not a whole piece. So I'm just gonna cut that small piece off. Easy peasy, nothing to be upset about. And I'm gonna put it over here on my table, okay? All right. Great. Now, what we're gonna do is measure out our beans. So, like I said, you could use either rice or beans for this, okay? I'm gonna measure out either one that they would like. Grand Grand, would you like to use rice or beans? Uh, rice. All right, Grand Grand is gonna use rice. So we're gonna measure out, since Grand Grand has a sandwich size bag, we're gonna measure out her a cup of rice, okay? A cup, one cup size. Now when I say a cup is not a regular size drinking cup, it's a measuring cup, okay? So we're gonna measure out some rice for Grand Grand. I'll take our time so I don't make a mess. All right. And there we go. That's about a cup right there. All right. Let's see, it's all even. All even. And Grand Grand has her bag there. And we're going to pour her cup inside her bag. All right. Awesome sauce. So there's Grand Grand's bag. Addie, what would you like to use? Rice or beans? Dry beans. What would you like to use? Rice. Rice. Addie's going to use rice too. And so Addie has a salmon size bag as well. So we're going to measure out rice for Addie. And be real careful not to make a mess. I would normally probably do this in the kitchen, but because all of us are working together, I'm doing it on the floor. But I have a towel down as well so that I don't make a mess. Not a towel. I have a blanket down on the floor, see, so that I don't make a mess. So here's Addie's sandwich bag. And as you saw, she was blowing hers open, so it would be easier to pour into. So we're going to go ahead and put Addie's rice inside her bag. See? She handed it to me so I could pour it in there, pour it in there for her. There we go. And she has her bag. Now... I'm going to tell them both to go ahead and seal up their bags while I am going to use the dried pinto beans for mine. So since I have a small snack size bag, I'm going to need half a cup, okay? So I'm only going to need about half a cup of beans for mine. All right. All right, there we go. I got my half a cup, and I'm going to open up my bag now, and I'm going to pour mine inside of my snack size bag. So make sure you guys seal up your bags, okay? Make sure you seal them up nice and good, but before you seal them up, make sure you get all the air out. So you want to roll it over like that, so you can get all that air out there. Push all that air out. Push all that air out. Ooh, Addie did a good job pushing all that air out. Good job, Addie. Grand Grand pushed all the air out of hers too. Good, Grand Grand. And then, once you push all the air out, then you want to seal it shut. Make sure it's sealed shut. So make sure all that air is out. It should look like that. No air is in there. And then I'm going to seal it. Seal it all away. Perfect. Seal it all away. Now go back over it and make sure it is sealed completely. The way you're going to know it's sealed is you can try to open it at the little seam right there. See? You can do that, and you see that it's closed. Then you can turn it upside down, and nothing's coming out. Woohoo! That's a good bag right there. Yes. Now, 
I still have a little air in mine, so I'm gonna have to crack a little bit of hole and get some of that air out of mine. So I have to make sure there's no air in there, okay? Because if, uh, if there's still air left in there, it's gonna create a bubble, and when you get ready to wrap it, it could pop your bag, and you don't wanna pop your bag, okay? Now, now that all my air is out, I'm gonna fold in, fold in my little seal. I'm folding my seal in, fold it in my little zipper. And then I'm gonna fold it down. And see, I have a square. Once I do that, I have a square. Let's watch Grand Grand doing hers. She folded hers over. See, you can do the same thing with the rice. Easy peasy. Grand Grand, can you hold it up for me? And see, now she has a square. Look at that. Grand Grand has a square now. Let's see Addie's. Oh, Addie, very good. Addie, let me see. Good, Addison. Very good. All right, guys. We're gonna keep moving. All right, we're gonna keep on moving. Now, you're gonna take your tape, okay? And you'll slowly start wrapping it with your tape. So I have my square. You'll slowly start wrapping it with your tape. Okay, slowly start wrapping it. I am going to use yellow. Now, Grand Grand and Addison have pre-cut pieces. So you could do it with the pre-cut pieces or you can do it how I'm gonna do it. And I'm just gonna slowly wrap it, see? You can wrap it like that. All right. I'm gonna pan over to Grand Grand and watch Grand Grand as she does her pre-cut slices, or pre-cut pieces of tape, see? So the pre-cut pieces were easy too because she was able to just take a piece and wrap it. Just fold it over. See? All right. And I'm gonna take another whirl around. Now the duct tape is important because it helps not only create an extra layer of protection for your plastic sandwich wrap or pl plastic snack bag it helps protect it so that it doesn't pop open or it doesn't you know come out the beans don't come out of the bag you don't want the plastic to break so that duct tape provides an extra layer of protection and it's stylish and cute and gives you a variety of different colors that you could work with when you're playing your games so see i just rolled mine around and i am almost done you wanna to try to make sure you keep a smooth surface for your bean bag, cause you don't want to catch on anything. See, smooth, nice and smooth. And I got another wrap. And then I'm gonna cut mine off. Gonna put it right there. All right. And let's see. See, look, I'm good to go. And now all I gotta do is just cover my ends right here see just cover my ends these type of bean bags and rice bags can also be used for sensory but we're going to use them for physical fitness fun and if you stay tuned i'm going to provide a video that's going to show a whole bunch of games that you could play with these bean bags so now i'm going to just cover my ends like that see Cover my ends up. And you don't want it to be too tight, okay? Because you want your bean bags to be able to move around. You want the bean bags to be able to move around inside of there. See, I'm going to cover that other side real quick. And I am done. All right. Making bean bags with Coach G. And I just seal everything up. I got one little section there. See, that's where the pre-cut would have came in handy at. I got one small little section, so I'm gonna cut a small little piece of tape off to cover that section. And you don't have to wrap the bean, the bean bags more than once. Once you have every part covered, you're done, okay? You don't have to continuously keep wrapping. All right, I'm gonna cover that one little section. Remember, this tape is kind of sticky. But you want it to be sticky so it'll stick. 
covering up that one side. And I'm done. I have my bean bag. Ah, I got my bean bag. I got my bean bag. Grand Grand, do you, you have your rice bag done? Ooh. Grand Grand has her rice bag done, which is another form of a bean bag. Awesome sauce. Guys, look at that. Wow. Wow. That's a good one. So we have the bean bag made with rice. And this is the sandwich size bag. So it was a good size, a little bit bigger. And then we have the smaller size bean bag made with the snack size bag that came out a little bit smaller. You see the difference in the sizes? Pretty nice, huh? And now you're set. And that's, there you have it. Making bean bags at home with Coach G. Oh, and we have one more. Oh, look. We have Addie finishing hers up. Ah, oh, good job, Addison. Awesome sauce. So Addie had used a large um, sandwich size bag and she used rice as well. So let's look at all the different sizes, guys. Let's put them on the table and let's see how it comes out. Oh, good job, Addie. That's nice. So there goes Grand Grand's. Ah, very nice. There's Addison's. Woo! Good job, guys. And here's mine. See, we have three different color bean bags, three different sizes for fun games. Stay tuned with me, Coach G, and I'll show you some fun games you can play at home using these bean bags, all right? Great job, everybody. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Thank you, everybody.